Well, this video is clearly enough within Minecraft. More specifically, this is mineshafts and monsters. And once again, there was an update. I've updated everything, and let's see how things are gonna go. In this episode, because this mod pack is stupidly big, I would like to go ahead and look into all the items I've collected between the episodes. I've done, I've done a stupid amount of work, so I want to see whether it's gonna be worth it. First. I need to figure out the heart container. So I assume a heart piece is four heart pieces that are used in order to create a single heart. Okay, a heart piece. In which case, I obviously, you know, if I guess, I mean, yeah, I can just make one real quickly. Yeah, having these on you at all times is absolutely invaluable because, yeah, not only that, why am I saying yeah, yeah, over and over again? I don't know. But what I wanted to say is. These are absolutely invaluable because they not only give you more hearts, but they can instantly heal you. So yeah, having five on me at all times is worth it. Also, I've upgraded all of my gear that I plan on, that I plan on having with me at all times. So, first, let's figure out this chest, be, or rather uh, this barrel, because this is the barrel in which I have every single item that I have the fancy of ideas what they should be doing with. First, coin. Some kind of money... Some kind, there is some kind of curse in money. Okay, I thought it was gonna be something more interesting. Coin, there's many different types of coins. Deck, uh, okay, it's just decorational. Well, let's see. Hmm. Well, that's kind of sad. Coin of fortune is useful. Coin dragon, dungeon chest. I can just find the coin dragon. Worm roost. This is interesting. I'll look into it in a second. Really? That's all of their use? Just crafting? Well, I guess if they're just decorational, then their place is actually here with the decorational stuff. Sure. I might be able to build myself a treasury just like in Aerocraft. Although, let's hope this one's gonna take a little less time to build. Alright, so Worm Roost. I don't know this mod even remotely. Obviously, enough, it's connected to dragons. Alright, Worm Roost. There's plenty of things here. Platinum dragon armor, oh, can just be found in chests. I really want one. Uh, right. Geodes. It doesn't give me any information on them. Or stone variants, okay. Okay. But, overworld drake. Rule stalker. Right, so names of dragons that I've never seen. These are not from the ice and fire mod. Okay, obviously I don't have any of these items, but I guess at least the geodes are something I should mine? It looks like it, which is unfortunate. I hate mining. An egg! Oh. How do I find these guys? Are they in another dimension? Swap a dragon. Dragon stuff. Huh. Right, I'm very interested in this mod, even though I know nothing about it. I'll read on it. Hopefully in between the episodes I'll remember. Okay, so that's that. Uh, what else is next? Source gem. Okay, from which mod is the source gem? This is what I'll be doing this whole episode. There's a lot of mods I know nothing about. So, source gem. Uh, found within. Oh, Ars Novel? Oh, a magical mod. Okay. Okay, so this one. I know what Ender Pearls are for, and this one, so I don't know why. Right, so Ars Novel. A magical mod that I can't start looking into, but do I feel like it? I mean, I do have source berries. I have some of those planted outside, so they can be used for. Bye. Well, I guess that's useful. It recovers your mana, so I can look into this magical mod eventually. Alright, Ars Novel. Sure. Ars Novel section of barrels? Sure. By the way, <laughs> it's a good thing that I collected an insane amount of resources. But anyway, uh, diamond backpack, I'm just gonna leave you here. Actually, all my backpacks. I don't wanna start picking things up, so yeah. This. And here is for the ice and fire stuff. This is for the Feywild things. And. The what? Oh, come on! This video was supposed to be chill. Alright, this is for our snowball. I'm gonna pretend that thing is, uh, isn't up there. So, next, uh, next, next, next. Shiny Puddle Stone. Yeah, I actually, this is the thing I found underwater. Yeah. Wait, what? I'm writing it right. Okay, I thought it was deluding. Oh, that's it. Okay, my bad. From... 
Uh, what can I do with the things within this mod? Oh, so capture what? Yeah, I know none of these mods. This is such. Oh wait, okay, this is some great damage. Huh? Yeah, I don't know any of these. Crying obsidian, ancient runestone boots. Okay, these have to do something interesting, right? Yeah, sure, I'll craft them real quickly. Might as well check out, check that. <sighs> also, nether ward for this true ward. What is this used for? Electrite? Okay, I do not know what's happening. Mm. I'm so lost. Obviously, in these remotes, I know nothing about, but still. Okay, so oh, terror bringers feathers. Oh, okay, so I can't do anything with this one because I haven't hunted some of these mobs. Good to know. I mean, I haven't even encountered some of these mobs, so yeah, I guess I can't do much with this. So I'm just gonna leave it with the area that I don't know what it is about. Sure, I guess puddle stone I can keep and just leave it to the decorations. Sure, what is that really just a boost? And okay, from which mod is that? So many things. Caribris? Ah. Uh, okay. This. Also, what is this simple ship for? It, it. I can't use it. I tried to use this item. Oh, it's from Mine Colonies. Okay, now I know I can't use it. Alright, anyway. I'm learning things. I'm learning things. So, the syringe, it doesn't say anything. So, can I just give it to myself and I'll be better overall? I'm gonna check the big brain mod just because I'm curious of the name. Anyway, Soldier's Range? No, another mod that I should really look into between the episodes. You know, I'm having an episode in which I'm literally looking at all the items and I'm figuring out that what I should do is just go ahead and look into more of the items. Okay, a crowbar. Yeah, it doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't tell me how to use it. Hmm. Oh, did I hear something? I think I did. Right, what is this? What is... I don't know, I don't know. I know nothing, I'm so confused. Shards. Okay, let's just see what are these shards for. I was really hoping I'd be able to discover something insanely overpowered, you know. Oh, this is Ars Novo. Okay, so the shards are from Ars Novo. Good to know. Heart of the Sea. Wait, is the Heart of the Sea have a new item? It's just retextured. Oh, it is a new item. Okay. So it's been just retextured. Oh, this is the Butterfly Leviathan. Huh. Isn't that delightful? Yeah, the Worm Roost mod sounds more and more interesting and also more and more terrifying with each second. Shoot of the Deep? Conduit? I don't know what the Conduit is, even though I know it's vanilla. Yeah, this is for upgrading my enchanting room, which I know about that. And a normal trident. Huh, that's it. Yeah, I'll leave the heart here because it's a mob drop. And yeah, even more organizing. Alright, what does this one do? This eye is believed to have given our ancestors the knowledge of redstone. Pirates say it gave scythe to the legendary Black Pearl. Alright, so it's not gonna give me any information. Once again, I'm so glad that there is a mod that wants to just go ahead and look into these things. It would have been great if it actually tell you, told you what to do with them, and sometimes it does, but not all the time. So, Black Eye. Ah, it's nice to have a chill video. Oh, look at how many different types of eyes are actually within this mod pack. Kind of worrying if you ask me. Uh, I just... I really want to know what these do. You know what? Sure. I'm going to test one of the black eyes because obviously we have plenty of them. Uh, the spirit orbs, I actually know what they do. I'll explain in a second. But first, let's test this out. Little further away. Over here should be fine, I hope. Okay, I right click this. It leads me somewhere? Is it actually just gonna lead me to the end? Okay, a rat that lost its... Ow, ow, ow. Oh, come on. I have a weapon on me. Would you mind? Okay, I'm just gonna get inside. Alright, another thing I need to look into behind my own time. Oh yeah, I wanted to explain. The spirit orbs, what they do is actually they increase your stamina whenever you're using a paraglider. Yeah, that's all they do. But in order to increase your stamina, you actually need to find a statue. 
Then again, I want to see, can I use them for something else? I know I can use them for that. No, I can use them only for that. Okay. Yeah, paraglider, it's, it says right over there, it's from the same lot. Well, yeah, I know what this, you know, if actually that's the case, might as well have them here, right? Yeah, totally. Makes sense. Okay, at least I'm learning what this chest is for. So, the gems, I said I wasn't gonna use. Alright. Any other insane... Oh yeah, the Feywild. The Feywild, which have a dwarf from it. I wanna look into this one, the Feywild. Can I do something amazing with it? Alright, are you gonna tell me how to get this book? Or... Feywild Lexicon? Nope, it doesn't tell me how to get the book. Uh, I Dwarven an Anvil. Okay, that's actually super easy to make. I can make that right now, actually. Yeah, I can. The point... The question is, should I? Is there a reason for me to do that? I don't know about this mod. How am I supposed to get the lexicon that's gonna give me the information? Are these so just items that I must find? Okay, I can create a Mandrake potion, I guess. I can fade dust. Oh! I can smelt the lesser fey gems into Fadus. This is so very interesting. Oh, okay, I need the anvil in order to do this. <sighs> alright, alright, I'm disappointed in myself. I was really hoping I'd be able to do more. Anything else? Anything I have even remotely interesting that I can look into? Oh yeah, I have plenty of artifacts. Re literally the most interesting thing I haven't looked into it yet. Okay, a rose buckler. Oh wait, this is from the same mod as uh, these, as these, there we go. Hmm. Okay, now I know that. Uh, Monastery Explorer map. Oh, that's also something I can look into, the maps. Uh, the globes, are these literally just decorational? Because I found, obviously I found 11 of them in different chests. But I assume because they were in, in important chests, they gotta be valuable somehow. Whoop. Ah, it tells you the coordinates. Okay. Well, that's cool and everything, but I guess it's literally just a decorational block. Well, at least I learned one of the epic artifacts that they have, and all it does it tells you coordinates, which is not very useful considering I literally have a minimap that does the same thing right over there. But hey, uh, paragliders, right, I should have them here, I don't know why I haven't organized, actually I know I have organized, but uh, I have way too many things, and apparently I still have nothing, even though I feel like I have way too many things. Oh my goodness, so many things, it, it is, oh my goodness, that guy, you know what, sure, let's test out this gauntlet a little bit, I don't mind, you annoying creature that's making all that noise, might as well some action in this video, oh come on, let's go. Yeah, come on, yeah, come on, alright, alright, how much health do you have, just be done with this, please, uh, there we go, get stuck, get stuck in the bushes, awesome, uh, so wild, I wish to lower the volume, the corrupted pumpkin with supernatural power illuminating even the darkest nights with its powerful beacon. Hopefully nothing's gonna attack me real quickly while I test this out. Right click. Oh. 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 It has a certain amount. Oh, it drains experience. Oh, so the more experience I have, the more I can use this pumpkin. So it shoots a laser beam as well as I have experience? Well, that's definitely a unique weapon. How good is it? Oh. It's better than I thought, although apparently I really should enchant it. Hmm. Okay, we'll do just that. Can the globe... Yeah, the globe can't do anything else. Fair enough. I wonder where the boss that got summoned actually went. Good question. Right, so, Speckler Helmet. Oh, this is a helmet, good to know. Uh, the Soul Enchanter, I actually want to look into that. It requires mutated souls. Alright, and this thing. These are the more the more interesting things I want to look into right now. Right, urge them fully. Okay, cool, so I can move better in water with this. Well, considering how interesting it looked, it's not as cool as I was hoping for. Hey, it is what it is. 
And you know what? Because I have plenty of these, might as well use. Uh, actually, I don't really want to use my scroll. I'll, I'll do it in a video where I'm dealing with the Feywild. There is. Is there a dimension that's the Feywild in this mod pack? There probably is. But yeah, this video wasn't super exciting, but at the very least, I guess I learned a couple of things and if you know something I can do specifically that would make me an overpowered god, I would really appreciate you telling me. Hmm. Yeah, I actually just need... It's so sad. I, I wanted to do this video just so that I can prevent what I'm about to do, which is just go on ahead and read the different wiki pages about many different modes. But hey, guess that was unavoidable. Unavoidable? Unavoidable? Sure. Well, besides the point, hope you had fun. And bye.